Okay, so to continue our coverage over the Dawn of X era of X-Men comics, we actually pick up with Cable number one. Now, let me just say this real quick. When it comes to Cable number one, we knew sooner or later when Jonathan Hickman took over the X-Men, introduced the Dawn of X, that we would get a Cable book. Because Cable has always been one of the most popular characters in X-Men comics, and Marvel knew that that back in the 1990s hence why he had a couple solo books back in the 1990s and even in the early 2000s as well matter of fact he had a couple more in the 2010s and so when it came to the year 2020 and jonathan hickman is doing the dawn of x we knew that sooner or later we would get a cable book and bam here comes Cable. Now, with Cable number one, it actually opens up with Cable fighting against Wolverine. Now, you would think with Wolverine being more experienced than Cable that he should win. Because you have to remember, this is a younger Cable. Not the one we had in the 1990s and the early 2000s. This is a younger version of Cable. And with that being said, Cable should be a little bit unexperienced when it comes to fighting against certain X-Men characters like Wolverine. And so with that being said, you would think Wolverine would win this battle against Cable, but instead Cable is the one to win. Now, they are not fighting because they're angry at one another. No, they're really just having a competition because apparently on Kakoa, there is an arena where they can fight against each other and the winner gets some kind of token from the player who lost. And that is really it. And so right now you have Cable use his telekinesis on Wolverine as a way to beat Wolverine. And so Cable wins and Cable gets Wolverine's mark from the arena. And that is really it. Now, after the fight, you do have Cable meet up with two other mutants, Pixie and Armor. Now, we know when it comes to Armor, Armor has the ability to just make an armor. But when it comes to Pixie, a lot of people do not know this, that Pixie is half mutant, half fairy, which is very weird to say sometimes, but that what makes her a very interesting character because besides flying she's able to teleport and also cast a whole lot of different spells now with that being said after our three characters are walking away from the arena they do run into another younger mutant and his name is curse now like his name his mutant ability is him being able to give other people curses and right now he's worried about his friend because his friend was being attacked by a monster now at first cable said hey did your mutant ability activate and you just gave your friend a curse but you have curse say no my friend is being followed or chased down by some crazy monster and so, of course, you do have Cable, Pixie, and Armor do the right thing, which is to basically go out into the jungle and try to see if they can find Cursed Friend and also stop that monster. Now, when they get out there, they do find Cursed Friend being chased down by some really huge lion-like beasts. Now, with that being said, though, you do have Cable, Pixie, and Armor work together to try to figure out how can they stop this monster, but to how to save their friend as well. Which, of course, they do find a way to get the younger mutant to safety, but that is the moment you have Cable realize why the monster is going crazy, because there's something stuck in his paw. And so with that, you have Cable say, hey, I now know why he's going crazy, because whatever is stuck in his paw is making him very angry. So let's try to work together to pull out whatever it is. And so you do have Cable, Armor, and Pixie try to figure out a new plan to be able to keep the beast in the air long enough for Cable to pull out whatever is stuck in his paw. Now, of course, they do that, but right when Cable pulls out whatever was stuck in the animal's paw, that is the moment you have Cable realize it's a sword. Now, this sword is going to be very important for a lot of things down the road. But with that being said, though, as soon as Cable pulls out the sword, 
that is when he is shocked and he is knocked out. And the reason why he is knocked out is because he's about to get a vision. Now with that vision, it does give Cable the ability to learn how in the world did this sword arrive on Earth. And that is the moment we see Cable have a flashback. And this flashback is all about the owner of the sword. And that is the moment we come to find out the sword used to belong to a space knight named Morn. Now with this space knight Morn, he said the sword name is Light of Galador. Now on top of that, the space knight said that he was going around hunting down bad monsters. Now a group of monsters that he was hunting down actually tried to escape and they tried to go down to earth. And so Morn followed those monsters down to earth. But of course he crash landed on Kakoa where he met that beast and that beast basically killed him. And that is how the sword, the light of Galador got stuck in the paw of that monster. But of course the sword now belongs to Cable. And with Cable finding the sword, of course, it is only going to lead to more problems down the road. What I mean is this right here, because when Cable found the sword, he basically activated the sword powers. But with the sword powers being activated across the universe, three space knights were able to detect the activation of the sword. And so these three space knights who were shut down and matter of fact being held in some random museum across the universe, they wake up, they escape the museum, and now they're heading towards Earth to get the light of Galador away from Cable because they say the sword can bring everything they want back to life. And so now Cable will possibly fight against the Space Knights down the road. But those Space Knights are not the only thing Cable is going to have to worry about because in a different place, in a different time, we see the original Cable coming back. The old school Cable, the old man Cable, and he's on a mission. Now, we have no idea what that mission is, but it seems like he's going after his younger version Cable, the one that's right now in the present day on Kakoa. And so, of course, it could lead to another battle between Cable and and cable but with that being said this is where we are going to in today's comic book video so please leave me a like down below and subscribe also if you have any suggestions on books i should read well please let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road later guys